everyone and welcome to another video. Uh, my name is Jensa and today we're doing another video on Lineage 2 Revolution Basics. I'm trying to do a few uh, videos in a series on some of the basic things that people seem to have a lot of questions about, hopefully explaining a little bit, giving you a little better handle on exactly what's going on with some uh, basic elements of the game. Uh, today we're going to be talking about mounts. Uh, mounts are one thing that a lot of new characters, uh, new players ask a lot of questions about. The system can be a little confusing until you get used to it. Um, and it's one of those things that can give you a big boost if you handle it correctly. So we're going to talk a little bit about mounts today. Uh, as you can see right now, I am battling in the summoning circle. Uh, the summoning circle is accessed through the dungeons menu. You can create, uh, complete it up to twice a day. And the summoning circle is your main and sometimes your only method of getting gear and stones for mounts. Uh, so the point of the summoning circle is you follow around uh, Feldheim here, uh, who is an NPC archaeologist in this game. He goes around to three altars in this area uh, and has to activate them. And your job and your team's job while he's doing that is to keep the monsters off of him, basically. Um, it's a pretty easy dungeon to get a triple S score in, which obviously gives you the best rewards. There are, uh, I believe, three uh, maybe four levels of difficulty uh, for the summoning circle um, with progressively obviously greater and higher level rewards for each. Um, you can do this just like Temple Guardian with uh, either a party that you create yourself or you can do the auto matching. Uh, at this very hard level for uh, Temple Guardian, I found sometimes the matching takes a few minutes lately. I don't know if that's just because not many people are doing it right now or uh, the times of day that I'm hitting it are, are off or something like that. But uh, Summoning Circle is really, other than buying things or maybe getting the random um, items from something like a relic or a special event, uh, the Summoning Circle is your only way to get the stones uh, for um, mounts. You get three, uh, two types of stones and one type of equipment um, and one... Um, and equipment sets, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, the blue stones here are the advancement stones. The uh, stones with the pictures on them are the summoning stones and the equipment. There are four pieces of equipment that come in this one equipment chest that you get uh, with each uh, clearance of the dungeon, which is what I was trying to say a moment ago. Uh, we're gonna get into each of those things in just a second here and talk about how to use them. Um, really mounts are something that uh, are more than just here to help you move around the game more quickly uh, mounts boost your combat power as well um, and the system for that again can get a little confusing and complicated so we're going to go take a look at that right now um, to access the mount system you go through your character menu here and go to mounts uh, you will see a screen that looks somewhat similar maybe to your equipment screen, but obviously it will have the mount and the mount equipment. Right now there are four mounts in the game. Uh, in order of level of mount, lowest to highest, we have Black Bear. Uh, Silver Saint is the horse. Uh, Kukarin is the uh, ostrich type mount. And the Steam Beetle. Uh, there is a fifth mount coming soon uh, to the game. That is the Lion. I'm not sure... On the exact release date of that if it's in the update that's actually releasing later today or if it's going to be at a later date uh, i'm simply not sure um, but each of these the black bear you actually get as your first amount through uh, main quests around level 50 if you're keeping up with your main quests as you're leveling up your character uh, silver saint kukarin uh, you get through uh, the boxes that you just saw. You get those summoning stones there. And the Steam Beetle, uh, which as you can see is currently the only one with sort of the rare uh, background to the mount, you obtain through completing open siege events and certain um, levels of achievements in those events. Um, so we're going to kind of go over how you use these mounts and what you uh, need to do for them. Uh, for each mount, as you can see, there's a couple of different things to look at. Uh, each mount, sort of like a piece of equipment, has a grade uh, that can go through the same levels, C, B, A, S, R, and S, R. Um, they also have levels uh, 0 through 20. Um, so to get 
them leveled up, you use the uh, advancement stones here. As you can see, I currently have 20, uh, I'm sorry, I currently have 45. Uh, and that is, uh, those are actually left over from the last day or so. I was trying to save them up a little bit. I did not go and actually uh, open the box from what I just completed. Uh, so I'll have a few more to do later today. But if you click OK, this will uh, increase the level of your mount. Uh, as you get up to through these S levels, it does take quite a few stones um, and takes quite a long time if you're unable to purchase any items to get these mounts leveled up. Uh, so it's something I kind of chip away at every day and hopefully soon we'll be able to to go ahead and level things up. So again, your mount can level up from level one to level 20 is the highest level at each grade. Uh, so your mount also has grades. If you click the upgrade button, you will see that uh, once your mount reaches level 20, you can upgrade that mount to the next grade, uh, in this case from S to R, with a certain number of stones, uh, summon stones, and a certain number of Adena. If I click this, you'll see it'll tell me I cannot do it right now uh, because I don't have my mount at the max level. Um, the next part to your mount is the equipment. You can see your mount has four types of equipment here. The steel visor is the headpiece, the uh, steel armor uh, sort of on the chest, uh, the uh, saddle, and the boots for the leg piece. Um, again, each of these also have a grade and a level just like your normal equipment. You level them up by clicking on the item, clicking level up, and then selecting the material you want to use to level that piece up. So, um, and obviously that takes Adina to do very much like you level up any of your pieces for uh, your, your main armor on your character. Um, one thing that is different here is that once one of these items reaches level 20, um, so you go again to the level up menu, um, once I don't have any that are approaching level 20, so I won't be able to show you right now, but I'll show you where it would be. Um, so right here where I click this level up button, if this item were level 20, uh, rather than leveling it up, it would have an Adena cost to upgrade it. So you do not upgrade through special stones or through combining equipment. There is no equipment combining uh, in the mount system. You level them up through the uh, similar equipment and then you upgrade them through using Adena. Now, like I said, there are four mounts, uh, and as you can see, I have them in various stages. Again, it's very hard to balance this out because mount equipment and stones are just so rare. You get them only through that um, summoning circle dungeon, uh, so you're very limited in what you can do here. But you do want to try to have at least your mounts equipped out and maybe try to upgrade some of your low le lower level equipment uh, from time to time as you go, even on a mount you're not using. The reason being, if you can see on other mounts that I'm not using, uh, it has this red uh, triangle here, and it'll tell you uh, that a certain percentage of the unused mount stats are applied. So even though I'm using the Steam Beetle, I still get uh, a percentage of um, combat power boost and stats from each of these others. Uh, so it's always uh, looks like 30% of what they're doing. So the more you can level up every mount, uh, the more and more you can get. Um, right now I am working on just simply getting the Steam Beetle as high as I can. That's the one I'm using. Obviously get 100% of any bonus. Um, but once I get that a little bit higher, I will start working a little bit more on these other mounts. Um, the next part of the mount system is the enhancement. Uh, again, this is going to be... Uh, just like uh, you do for your equipment. Um, if I go to the Enhance button here on the piece of equipment that I want to enhance, it will bring up another screen. I can select Scrolls and Enhance through here. You can see I need two scrolls for this particular piece of equipment. I only have one right now. Uh, these scrolls are actually one item that you can get in the... Um, out in the world uh, and not through the summoning circle dungeon. Uh, various mobs do drop them um, depending on what level you're at. I don't have a complete list, so. but as you do your quests, you can sort of pay attention and figure out which mobs drop those and form them if you need to. Um, getting your equipment up through enhancing uh, does work just like your normal equipment, 
um, once you enhance to a certain level, uh, you can start failing, um, and you will not get you know that bonus every time. There's a certain chance percentage for it, uh, so it can take quite a lot of scrolls to get your equipment leveled up. Uh, the last button here is to reshuffle, reshuffle the substats on your equipment. So if I go and take a look at a piece of equipment for here, um, you can see my st uh, I have a defensive and resilience substats. So if I weren't happy with that, I could go and change the substats. It costs 150 diamonds. Um, and you can see which ones will be selected at random. I'm okay with the substats that I have right now. I also don't want to spend the diamonds on it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave that alone for now. Um, so uh, to recap, there's a lot to take in on these mount screens. Each mount has levels and grades, as well as each piece of equipment has levels and grades that you can continue to uh, move upward and get the uh, bonuses for the substats you just saw as well as uh, will increase your uh, combat power for your character. Again, not only for the mount you're using, but for every mount that you have available. So activating all of these mounts and uh, getting at least some basic equipment on them is a very good idea. As you get your equipment leveled up more, you can enhance them and shuffle the substats if you deem that uh, appropriate for your mount. So um, I think that's where we're going to end it today. I hope you've learned something about mounts and make it a little easier for you to handle your mount screen and we'll see you for the next video.